going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Frambo. I am your playthrough host, Jay Wright, and without further ado, we're going to jump right back into it with part... Oh, God, what are we at? Part 11 now? I feel like it's part 11. It seems like a part 11. Part 11 of Frambo. And where last we left off, we had um, watched the doctor die or disappear. We had been knocked out unconscious. Our aunt had came back, or at least some version of our aunt had came back and said that our cat, Mr. Midnight, was responsible for the death of our parents. And now we're trying to talk to our other selves um, in this world to somehow set ourselves free. We'll see how that works out for us. My lovely kitty. I love these pictures. Okay, I'm obviously going to have to move some stuff. It's been a while. I've been streaming on uh, Twitch lately, so my setup is completely different for that versus when I record solely. And it does feel sometimes so much better to just record and not have to worry about... Uh, the stream. My lovely kitty, I love these pictures. Alright. I wish Mr. Midnight would come through the window to save me. Uh-huh. I was actually freaking on the bunny, but okay. I painted this one. It's Kitty and Me. Time from the cuckoo clock. Oh. In the wind! Uh-uh. And the wind took all the magical dust away! That's about as little kid as I can get. Oh, hello. <laughs> I can't even keep it. Um, what are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? Why does her room look like the asylum at that age? How long has she been in the asylum? Or the psychiatric hospital? I'm not a dog. And yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa! You are... Myself! You really are! You think so? Then... This means that I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Itwood already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already. But I haven't seen him since the crash. You quashed? That means you are broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross the ultra reality is... To break the eyes. To break the ears. Break the physical limitations. Uh, that sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. I love how we're getting schooled by like this five-year-old. This five-year-old is breaking it down so simply for us. Not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones, the Puerto Rican ones, the Asian ones. Oh, there's the Greek ones, the Italian ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes! A man called Leon came to visit once and he told me everything. Holy, she's met Leon before. So she's like blanked out this entire part of her childhood. Or I guess really this isn't her, this is uh, an alternate reality of her. Oh. And can you tell me then why we see the things we do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty. You know. Our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. And we get to play as little alternate version friend. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La la la. Oh, she says the exact same thing in the world when we first uh, played with this. It does the same as before, huh? 
This shirt is angry with me. I like her outfit too. It's just a mismatched collection of what your parents would have in the closet. You just throw it on trying to be like your mom or your dad. These are pants and can be used by creatures with two legs. Or as a hat for those with long ears. Anyway, I won't use them now. Now that's a true mark of an artist. To see something that the world would say is one way and then to flip it in another way. Because she's absolutely right. Some with long ears could wear this hat. The blue scarf from wintertime. What is it doing here? It's not winter? I'll pick it up some other time. Did you like my show, Little Bear? I was the greatest dancer of them all. Thank you, you really think so? And there's Mr. Oswald. Hello, Dr. Oswald. I'm completely normal, don't you see? I'm just a funny, clever girl, that's all. So this one is, I maybe grown up in the uh, psychiatric ward her entire life, but the constant here is Mr. Oswald or El Diablo. As we've come to know him, or as I've just come to make up and pretend to I know him as. What do we got here? One blue blanket and one white blanket. I don't need them right now. They are for when it's very cold. Crowns to draw happy faces on everything. We could have used you in the beginning, part one, or to give color to the ugly things. Or just to draw on paper. I don't feel like drawing right now. Maybe I can make a paper boat. But I can't. I'm on a mission. Let's concentrate. <laughs> Some of my clothing to make shows. I like to dress differently for every show. It gives more character. Some of my clothes... Uh, okay, well, we already read that. Oh, we got plenty of keys. God only knows which one. My key collection. I hope I can unlock the other friend now. I wonder when she was saying, like, you have to break your ears and your eyes to see the ultra reality. What the hell did we do that made this possible? Did you do bad things? That's why you are grounded, little lady. You won't come out yet. No, no. Okay. The fact that she's placed a doll inside the closet and Dana's telling her that she won't come out and so she does bad things at five tells her that she's probably been placed in a closet at some time. That's my professional opinion as a psychiatrist. This has been done to her before. That's why she's recreating it with the doll. Uh, hey, hey, we've seen both of these things before. Oh, my yellow dress is pretty. I'll try not to grow up much so I can use it forever. Well, we seem to be using it in our reality. But if I grow up, I can use it as a shirt. Instead of a dress. Ah, smart girl. Oh, that jacket. I always must put on that jacket to go outside. What the? Why? I can't even play then. It's quite useless. Up, oh, Edward and Palantras. Wait, if she knew Palantras already, why didn't Palantras know us? I drew this after my journey with Edward and Palantras. I think Palantras is funny and smells like bubblegum. I always hear that. Is bubblegum like... A pleasant smell and it were likes to play all day long because I think about this medicine I had to take when I was a kid and I don't remember what it was for but uh, it tasted like bubble gum and it always made me want to puke it's that not not Pepto-Bismol but like it was an actual medicine from like the, like the doctor and it came in this brown bottle and it was always I would taste it and be I think I did puke a few times taking it I think Palancha is funny like bubble gum I should ask my dad what in the world that was that I had to take as a kid all right well I think we're good with the closet Let's throw a bunch of keys at your friend and see what unlocks here. Please, friend, find a way to unlock me. I need to find Mr. Midnight. I'm on it. Don't panic. In fact, I found about ten different keys to try. Let's see. Wits key. Let's have some fun. Let's just go for it. Um. Yeah, you look like a nice silver small key kind of thing. Ah, it won't fit. Let's try another one. Okay, well, I mean, it's all right. That's what we're here for. We're going to try a bunch of different keys on you. We're going to get you just right. Um, You look more actually like a golden left side kind of key. Ah, you won't. I lied. I lied. You know what? Somebody else that walked in wearing the same exact shoes. Never mind. It doesn't matter. You more look like this middle key right here. And no, wait, 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 wait. I know what I was thinking, and it wasn't you. I'm sorry. Let me focus actually on you. You actually look more like this top key right here. That's kind of... Okay, wait. No, 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 no. I, I, okay, I missed a second order in my head. Your key has to be this key to the left, right? Because that's clearly the only... Key. 
Well, <laughs> clearly I've been playing with you this entire time. The only key that could possibly fit your particular like has to be this key, right? Aha, unlock. Okay, now I gotta wonder, was my luck just so bad that I skipped over the one key that would unlock it, her? Or were none of the keys gonna fit until I got to the last one? Thank you so much, friend. <laughs> you really have a lot of keys in here. Yeah, don't you? Oh, friend, before I forget, Palantras told me that if we met someday, I should give this to you. So Palantras knew we were going to, uh, we were going to meet one day? Hold on, wait, was I? Let me... Felt like I was spiking a little bit there earlier, so I'm going to try and turn that down, make sure I'm not blasting y'all's ears or just coming through all, you know? Uh, Palantras told me that if we met someday, I should give this to you, and... We should... Here! I've... Here! I think it will help you to open something! Looks like a riddle. Lantris? You know him too? Wow! Thank you! Yes! He also told me that if we met, you would be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me! Tell me, five-year-old, tell me! Oh, no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Who, who's coming? Oh. Uh, it's the itch of the east. Uh, I'm sure Fran has a much cleverer name than I, than I am, but I am not a five-year-old clever girl, so. <clears throat> Come on. Come on, Fran. You must see the doctor now. Can she see us? I'm gonna go up now. No, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But... Nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. <clears throat> Nobody. Ooh, Imagine X. E.T. Oh, home. Ah, oh, I love this comic. I like the part when the alien takes the girl to another planet. It's always nice to see new places like Ethers. I don't, I don't. Okay, she was kidnapped. She was kidnapped and we just in our head. Made it seem cute, but she was kidnapped. My slippers, I must use them. I use them when it's raining and I can't go and I can't go outside. Also when it's a weekend and I don't need to go to school. Anyway, I don't need them to rescue Mr. Midnight. We don't know what we need, friend. We are a scavenger of random objects. To ride the choo-choo train is the best. That would have been a cool world to explore. A choo-choo world? A train world? It sings all the time. Choo-choo, gotta be talking like friend. Uh and then you crash and die. The big doll my daddy and I built together. Her name is Piwan, and she likes to be naked. Love it. She had a dress once, but she burned it. <laughs> and she don't play. She likes to be naked. No, nah, don't, don't touch that. Crowns, lady gnome, teddy, ballerina. Yes, all in its place. The doll likes to read a lot. I know because I taught her. Hmm. I like the sound of the musical box. It reminds me of Itward in a way. Huh, okay, is that? I bet she can tell all the stories in the books from memory. Huh? I should teach her how to talk too, so she can tell me the stories. Okay, so I don't even know what she's just... You see, okay, she's bouncing back and forth between the doll and the music box, even when I'm not clicking on those particular things. Interesting. Uh, time from the cuckoo clock. This cuckoo clock time tells time differently. If you stand to one side of it, you will never grow old. Time. Huh. You'll never grow old. Interesting. Mr. Midnight's bed. Oh, I can always hear him purring. Huh. That's odd. The bed is still a little warm. 
That means he was here not so long ago. So we sent him inside, opened the door, and he just laid down. Thanks, Mr. Midnight. Appreciate that. I had to go dig up my parents because of that. Uh, we are laying on the grass and looking up at the sky. And I'm singing songs to Mr. Midnight, too. Hee <laughs> hee, I painted this one. It's Kitty and me. Alright, what about this bunny? It's our house, but not really our house. And there is a Kamala eating... Well, hopefully it's not Zion. Our dude, Zion. Arg, a Kamala. Nasty creatures. Poor tree. He must be really sad with that Kamala eating from him. You don't look like he's got too much longer left anyway. I know Kamalas don't like water. Okay, so we're gonna try and free him with some water. Uh, excuse me. Is somebody down there? Yes. I'm s somebody. Uh, I know you're busy, but have you seen a black cat? Hello, uh, have you seen a black cat? Ah, no, I have not seen a cat. Uh, but I do see a, a black thing eating from me. Okay, bye. <laughs> Are you all right? Eating from you? Uh, I think it's a Kamala. Are you all right? Oh, oh God, no, not really. I, I don't feel very well. I, I feel sad. Well, I may be able to help you. I got rid of a Kamala once, all by myself. Oh, really? That sounds promising. I I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. Did it sound like he was actually experiencing physical pain? Like I was making him out to? It's not more like, you know, just like the children we saw earlier. The Kamala was making him sad. Depre excuse me, depression. No, how do we go back inside? Oh, here we go. I like the hiccups all of a sudden. Oh, we got all of our stuff back and we got a nice little poem. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, stop whining you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. It's a very specific and odd poem. Uh, we need to find water to get rid of the Kamala from our treatment. Oh wow, they really were best friends. Your cat looks so much nicer than mine. Uh, haha, I love this pic picture of Mr. Midnight. He looks so confused. Mommy and I ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that day. I think Mr. Midnight ate a bunch of insects. Oh, uh, closet. What do we collect? Our closet is very nice. Is that Alice? From Alice in Wonderland? That's, uh, wasn't expecting that. But I guess this does have a Alice in Wonderland kind of feel to it. Were they inspired or worked on? Or they have an Alice in Wonderland game that I don't know about? That's really interesting. Huh. Aw, this is Alice from school. We like to play together. That would be a dope... Do they ha I gotta see if they have a game of an Alice in Wonderland. That'd be dope. And if not... I'd love to see a sequel with Alice in it. Uh, she tells me stories about a wonderful land she visits sometimes. And her land is... Oh, okay, I guess it depends on which version you read. I was going to say hers is better than yours, but maybe not so much. We have so much fun making stuff up together. I don't think y'all are making it up. Uh, now that Alice, I've seen Alice, I know this is all real. Because Alice's journey was real. I use this mirror to see my beautiful face. Also to comb my hair and see if the clothing fits. Sometimes I stare at my eyes for a very long time and get scared. Okay. My summer hat. It doesn't fit anymore. My head is too big. My mother always told me that this is because I have a big brain. As a mother should. But I wonder, is that a good or a bad thing? Who knows? Well, it depends on what year you're living in. For you as a woman in 19, what is this, 30s or 40s? I don't know. I don't know if that helps. There's a lot of oppression, and sexism, and just overall not good things. But nowadays, still not equal, but you get a whole lot further with that big brain. I think it's just my ear making it up. In many ways, it's pretty and I like it. Uh, I don't believe you can hear the ocean in the shell at all. 
Ew, it has cat hair all over it. I won't lick it. No, that's all she has to say about that, huh? Uh, that's it. Lots of candy in the jar. Ew, it looks like peppermints. Peppermints are not candy. For, I don't know who came up with that, but as a kid, my grandmother would always give me peppermints when I asked for candy, and I hate peppermints now. That's not candy. If anything, it's an overglorified breath mint. Lots of candy in the jar. Lots of, no, okay. I will take my sleeping bag when I find Mr. Midnight. Aha, uh -huh. a lunchbox, you say? My school case, I may need it. Or school case, I bet that too. Examine it, my school case, can we use it? Can we see what's, oh, that we could open it, Never mind. Uh, use it with the picture. <laughs> my tiny sock for my tiny feet. I'll just leave it there. The uh, really ugly doll. Hello, don't look at me like that. We had a deal. You stay here until I grow up. <laughs> because grown up people are not afraid of dolls, I think. No, just throw that doll out because that is an ugly doll. The shoes, they like to cover my feet. These make me think of the great dancer in a Thursday who said that he would never part with the shoes until we made him. And we made him. Balloons in many colors. Okay, so we're going to fill those up with water and then we're going to chuck them at the Kamala that's attacking our tree friend. His trees are friends, not food. I already took the balloons. The box is empty. I wonder if he will dance again without the shoes. Probably no. He probably ruined his career there. Don't know how he's going to take care of his kids. My lovely peach dress for sunny days. That's it. What about this one? The coat for when it's windy and cold. The summer dress. It has a big button. Uh, can we take the button? No? Okay. Uh, what about this one? So this is just whatever this pattern is here. Just a regular scarf, doing what regular scarves do. Oh. Alright, I think we've explored the heck out of this closet. Let's get out of here. What have we not? I haven't seen the Nutcracker. The Nutcracker stands on guard. I think he is afraid of the ladies. Because sometimes he bites me for no reason at all. That makes you not pressing that handle in the back. What do we got? Oh! Well, pine cone. I thought that was a third step for a second, but maybe not. Maybe not so much. What do we got going on here? Oh, I've got to set it up. Huh. A lamp. A uh, kissing rock. For some reason. I rescued the queen from my dad's playing cards. I was forced to cut her out. Cut out her twin sister, though. Hmm. The other queen is dead now. Interesting. And a clock. And what's going on here? This is this one is Albert, and he likes relative things. It's a theory. It's convenient to think that everything is relative, especially if you don't have a straight answer. This is Tesla, and he likes to play with energy. I had a dream where he was made of thunder. He was thunder, man. Superhero, thunder. Thunder. Ah, a clothespin or a piano. I'm gonna keep this little piano to play lovely melodies. This is really creative. Uh, my mother drew this flower for me. Oh, I lied to my friend once and told her that I drew it myself. But then I told her the truth and she said it was okay. The truth will always come out, and as long as you admit it, it should be okay. I don't like to drink sodas because my tummy gets something. But a teacher made an instrument with lots of caps added to a stick. Then we formed a band called Shucks. School and Sucks put together. I don't like to drink sodas because my tummy gets mad. Ah, uh, okay. There's something back there. And she whirled Lady Sardine upside down. Ah, upside down. Her tears drowning good friend always to ache. I robbed this painting from one of my friend's dollhouses. After that, I never invited him again to play with me. Mostly, mostly because I didn't want to show him what I stole from him. I'm confused. Wait. In the 1940s, I think it was the 1940s, right? Could boys play with dollhouses? Was that okay? In the 1940s? I feel like he would have gotten a lot of trouble. But I know there was a time early on where boys did play with dollhouses. Like, the whole gender thing was a lot more mixed. It, I, I, I don't know. It, for some reason, something was different. The thinking was different. And then it went a whole new way and then it went a whole different way we just keep transitioning on what we think is right and wrong the door to the dollhouse 
I don't need matches right now. We always need matches. I'll just leave them here. Always need matches. Okay, so this... These must be clues to what, uh... What they need inside of them. Like, I know he likes electricity, so what if I were to put the electricity here? And then the theory of relativity, uh... Relative to a specific answer... Uh, I don't know, time? Does that make sense? I don't know. We probably don't have all the clues to do this one right now, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, and then we have a door that's no longer a door. I don't remember having the door removed, nor do I. And yet, here we are with the door a la removed. I already looked at that. I don't want to lay on this bed ever again. I had better plans than waking up chained to it. Anyway, I will find Kitty and move to Ephirsta. Finally, Frank, we are on the same page. Forget the real world, we're going to Ethirsta. Where it's happiness and trees and magical places all the time. And I just want to check something real quick, so I will be right back. And I am back. So, where are we at here? Um... I'm thinking the first thing we need to do is is um, what would it be we need to open up that that box uh, with this right here so let's figure out what this says again all the screaming the boogers are driving me mad I press it by the ears first twice to the left and once to the right twice to the left once to the right Twice to the left, once to the right. Hope I can go back and forth between this. Twice to the left, once to the right. Twice. Can't really seem to interact with the. Um, twice to the left, once to the right. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. One, two. Oh, I think I messed up already. I think it is taking that into account. I'm just not... So... Oh, here's the ears. First, twice, to the left. Once, to the right. It's not going to let me do that. It's just going to keep starting over. I'm going to have to do it all at once. I can already tell. Twice to the left and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times. To see if it has tears this time. I take him... Once by the left ear and scream, stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Okay. Twice to the left, once to the right. Rub eye twice. Uh, hold the left ear. And then press the eye again. I think I can remember that, right? Twice. Uh, let's see. Let's test my memory here. Use it. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Examine it. Twice to the left. Once to the right. Press my eye twice. Hold my ear once. And then press the eye again. My memory is shot, but it's not all the way shot. It's got like a couple holes in it, but not like 20 holes in it. Still works. Still works. Oh, God. What else we got here? Mabuka Mabuka. Wake up, mother Mab Wait, isn't Mabuka like the evil queen lady from the, the demon world? Like R Remor's mother? Wait, uh, Mabuka Mabuka. Wake up, mother Mabuka. The horn child is playing with the light. The Velakas is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give up the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the ECOG clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. Interesting. Okay, so... Um... One empty case. Oh, oh, this is all the things we need. Designed by the E by Cogwind. Oh, Cogwind. That's um, that's the guy who builds the clocks in the uh, in Thursta. Interesting. He built this. Okay, so we need an empty case, which we already have. Working bulb. Uh, wake up clock. Uh, bottle with water. Soap bar. One glove and black wire. We already have piano keys. Interesting. 
I think I must wake up Mabuka. I don't want to wake up Mabuka. Why would Palantras give me this? It must be important. I think I must build it besides it's designed by Cogwin, the clockmaker. Okay. Um, what else do we have to interact with now? We have this key. The kitty key. A cat key. A key shaped like a cat. So pretty. Um... Uh, where are we going to get water from? What else do we have? We have the case. We have water balloons that we can't do anything with. I have this fake cat. We have piano keys. I don't... What have we not interacted with? Okay, what if we put... I don't know, the fake cat in the uh, basket here. Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? I was thinking that maybe... I, I, I don't know, something would open because there's a cat there now? I don't know. We need to get water from somewhere. I don't have duotine pills, so I can't really examine anything else. Wow, things have changed a little bit. Just a little bit, huh? That's that's only a little bit. The house looks so old and bloody. As opposed to new and not bloody. I wonder what happened to the street. Yeah, that's also a good question. Why are we up in the air? Is there... Something I am, uh... Missing? I'm from the cuckoo clock. Uh, huh. What could we not be doing that could be done right now? We have this key. But nothing is locked, is it? Hmm. And we have these water balloons, but I need... Well, I need water for the water balloons. Uh, I guess really the only thing we can interact with is this, but I'm not really sure. What does that say? Aha, wait. Is something back there? I feel the texture. What could it be? All right, we'll pull it up and let's find out. Oh, I ripped the paper off. Is something, okay, well we ripped the paper off. Do we even get the paper that we ripped off? No. Let's scrape that off, huh? There we go. Another key. Aha! A key! I bet this can unlock something. Alright, we'll take that key. Not really sure what we need this key for. I'm not really sure what we can unlock. This key was hidden in the dollhouse. Okay, so we have another key, but I'm not really sure the purpose of that key. We should definitely try and figure out the answer. Uh-huh. 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 These dresses do nothing for us, huh? They just move for no reason. I can't be right. There's gotta be a reason these dresses are moving, right? Got no pills. Brand, I'm gonna need you to put that big brain to work and help me out here. What, uh... What are we missing? I got two keys, but nothing to unlock. There's nothing locked around here. That I know of. Nope. Grounds. And I can't use the keys on anything because I don't have a key for anything. What is this cat for? Examine the cat. The cat tummy has a keyhole. That was pure blind dumb luck. Would not have guessed that. Do you have a secret in your tummy, Mr. Cat? I don't even... Wow, okay. I would not have guessed that. Combine this with this. Negative. What do you mean negative? That key clearly... Oh. That's interesting. Okay. Because we never had to do that kind of mechanic before. So... I'm glad that worked out. Well, thank you, Itward and Palantras. You just knew I was going to be locked up in a house and I was going to have to escape where there was no door available, so you made a door for me. Dope. I low-key thought using that... What is outside? Are we in a dollhouse? 
I low-key thought that key going into the cat was going to open a doorway to Alice's world. Like, from Alice in Wonderland. Uh, which would have been really cool. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, uh, and an eye that clearly looks like our eye. What a big eye. What are you looking at? Are you looking at my beautiful face? <laughs> Do I know you? You seem so familiar. Alright, um... I guess let's try door 102. Hello, is anybody living here? Hmm, the door is locked. I guess I have to unlock it to go inside. All right, what about 103? Door 103, ew, it's all bloody. I wonder what's behind this one. Something gross that we probably don't want to see. 104, hello door 104, open please. You won't, you need a key. Hmm, I'll see what I can do. Well, I have a key right here. We have two keys actually now that I think about it. Ha, huh, key to lock things that are locked. And then door 105, I'm guessing, is locked too. But we've already clicked on those. Might as well click on this one. Door 105, it's locked, of course. I guess I'll have to find the key to open it. I guess I'll have to find the key to open it. So whose key do we have? We'll use this one on door 102. Arg, this is not the right key. It's too big. Uh, we could call our homegirl in the alternate dimension. She, um, she loves collecting keys. It's not the right key. It's too big still. All right. One of these doors is going to open with these keys. Uh, did you not even register that I said open with this one? Hmm. The key doesn't fit. All right. Let's go to door 104. Aha! 104 it is then. Okay. We got a thing about eyes apparently. What is that? Oh, I just turn the lights on and off, huh? That's creepy. That what is it with this game and eyes? What? Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Perception is everything. The theory of relativity. Uh, I don't even know how an eye would talk. I. Uh... I can't keep doing this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I I see everything. No, 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 no. What the hell voice do you give to a giant eye alien? Uh, I, no, I, 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 I see everything, nothing less. All my voices are just starting to blend together to me, like nothing sounding unique anymore. Uh, everything, can you see my cat? Your cat, your cat, your cat, how is it possible that you own a cat? How are you royal? Queen? Princess? Is it special to own a cat? I have a cat. Am I special? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends? How lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It, oh, his eye talks. I literally finally saw the pupil doing all this. Okay. It was crying for help. For help in, from inside a cage. I already took care of that. I got him out of the cage. That must have been in the past. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. He's kind of got like a, a a game show host kind of vibe to him. Is what I seem to be putting on him. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes. Pink nose. Its fur is very dark. Black as the deepest night. It's him! It's my friend, Mr. Midnight! I have to go and find him! Yeah, Mabuka's cage. Did you hear the demon mother part? But Mabuka is asleep! Waking her up can end in disgrace for you and me and the rest of the world! I'm not afraid of her! You will be when you see her! Well, 
Feel free to take anything you need from my home. It's a nice eye. You are brave, and I respect va bravery very much. Thank you, Okula. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. What a nice eye. A golden snail. Is somebody in there? Maybe the snail is asleep. Shh. Got a hairbrush, okay. Ah, a hairbrush to brush hair. Makes sense. Logical. Huh, this mirror is transparent. It's more like a window into the soul. A winwer? A winwer? What about the eyes that are clearly our eyes? The eyes are looking around. Are those our eyes from different dimensions? I wonder what they see if they don't have a brain. Maybe Ohula, but she can't be the brain because she's the eye. Oh, it's a girl. How did you determine that it was a girl? I'm a guy, so I immediately went with guy voice because that's really all I can do. Ouch, the bulbs are very hot. Okay, well, we're going to turn them off. You don't mind if I take a bulb, do you? may need one of those for my project. Great, I got the light bulb now. Let me guess. We needed a light bulb? We did need a working bulb. Ha-ha! We are just moving right along on this list, this shopping list of ours. What's behind door number one? What do you got going on back here? It seems to be a painting of stairs that we can climb into. Like, oh, what the hell is in the bathtub? What is that? Oh, Kula, look at her face. <laughs> face you make when you don't want to talk to something aha I may need this wire in the near future like how near how I took this wire from the monkey machine I hope I didn't do it before the monkey machine worked insert button I don't have a button 103 oh this is how we're gonna get to room 103 paper swirl it's just like an Thursday. this reminds me of Sunday in the park paper uh, okay monkey aha hello happy monkey is your name Darwin? Nice to meet you. I'm Fren. You play the drums very well. I didn't get to hear him because I turned you off before you had a chance to play them, and I apologize for that mistake. A bottle. This bottle is perfect. I'll take it. Why? Do we need a bottle, too? I'm just picking up things along the way. Piano keys. We need a black wire. Apparently, that cable is our black wire. I didn't say anything about a, a bottle, though. All right, what about this... Thing over here. I think I must wake up my book. Ah, how do we? How do we get to this weird dimension over here with this weird thing in the bathtub that's missing a heart or missing a chess piece? I should say, not a heart. Uh, we don't have a button to play this just yet, so back into Okula world. She seems to be high. And what's going on there? All right, we got one more key. Let's try uh, room number five, 105. Had to work, because we tried on every other door. Look like Itward's coat. Itward's room? This is where Itward landed? Oh, mysterious paintings in a mysterious place. That is indeed very mysterious. The eyes are crying tears of blood. That's sad. Yeah, it seems to be a lot of that going around lately. Got some skeletons. Oh, dead skulls on the wall. I never thought of this, but I kind of like it. It's just the inside of humans. It's beautiful. She's trying to make me feel bad for looking at her weird by saying, it's just the inside of skulls. Like, oh, it's normal. Don't be all ugh about it. But it's a little bit odd that the 10-year-old girl wants skulls on her wall. Definitely needs to get some talking to. But we did make her dig up our parents, so maybe it's our fault. Hello, Mr. Skull. You have a um, little bit of flesh left on you. My kitty would lick and chew that out of you. What the fudge, friend? What are you doing? Would you like to be eaten by my kitty? See, this is the other side of friend I was talking about. That creepy side of friend that makes me wonder just a little bit about like how how nice is friend really? I don't think that's appropriate, miss. Nah, it's more like, I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. 
There are many doors that I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. I don't know why everybody's doing this voice today, but we are. It would be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? I see. Uh, I'll see what I can do to take the key then. Oh, she said take the key. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Oh, nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's Den. Oh, this is Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? Uh, you don't know who Mabuka is? You don't? Leave now. Just leave. But, Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. You know who Mabuka is. We've read about Mabuka. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of the darkness. The darkness, the darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. The creepy reality. What? Am I at the fifth reality? I thought Remor was the king here. Ah, Remor, the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I have said enough. All right. I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. All right, we're just going to take that key. Inside the little house. Oh, we're get... oh, a little message in the pocket. The little house. Oh, I see. Oh, a little... Oh, uh, wait. We already got that key, though. Isn't that the key that we used to get into this place? Or did we use that key to get into 104? Who knows? I see Itward's hat, though. Itward forgot his hat. Or maybe the hat forgot its head. Or maybe the hat can't exist without the head and vice versa. That means nothing is real. Wow, you went really deep for a hat on a twig. Uh, let's try nine, one, one. Okay. That's the only number I know. Nobody remembers numbers anymore. Um... Oh, we found creepy no chest guy. All right. He's not creepy. It's the human body. It's natural. That's the sound of my heart disturbing. It should stop all of a sudden. And that would be the end. I, uh, just... I don't like thinking about my heart's beat. I just want the soap. Soap. Are you having trouble with hygiene? Uh, not really. I just want the soap, but sure, terrible problems. Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh was all rotten inside. Ew. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Okay, know what he likes to eat. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a little while. I'm going to use it, and I'll give it right back. All right, then. Take it. It's all yours. If you touch it, I'm going to pull you to this pool. This boiling acid pool. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. Be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. What the hell is a hijacker? They eat their baby bodies and keep the heads. Their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. They did say the fifth reality was like a whole dimension of otherness here. Who is this guy anyway? You took my soap. Why did you take my soap? Do you have hygiene problems? Uh, we already established why I took your soap. I have terrible hygiene problems. I smell like rotten flesh. Ah, oh, water. I turn on the water. I hope you're not upset about me wasting your bath water. Hey, me, I got no beer for you today. Uh, we're going to fill up our water balloon, first of all, with uh, some H2O. This could work wonderfully if the water was turned... Oh, you didn't even turn it on first, huh? All right. With uh, the water. About to take out a Kamala. Ah, uh, the powerful water balloons. What about this bottle? Do we need to fill it with water, too? I filled the bottle with water. La, 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 la. I don't even know how you did that, but we did it. Uh, okay. That's all we can really use with the water, so I turn off the water. Is there anything else I can steal from you? 
A whale. Oh, a painting of a whale. Very nice. Not just any whale, a blue black 55 striped whale. Real whales are nice too. Looks like a real whale. Very amazing creatures. All right. Well, that seems to be the end of our tour here. Um, uh, and we have nothing to... Yeah, let's just go kill the, uh, the Kamala and see what that presents to us. What next adventure we may proceed on when we have a Kamala gone off of our tree friend. So this is Mabuka's Den, huh? We have finally made it to the fifth reality where I said I did not want to make it to. So now we're going to throw some water with this guy. Got a little bit of lag going on there for a second. Here we go. Oh, goodness. I missed. Oh, come on. We only have three balloons. Don't don't, don't mess us up, friend. Come on now. Don't be getting it on the last one. Hit him with this. We need these. Arc almost, friend. We have three balloons. Literally, if you miss this one, you're going to have to go down there and fight with your bare hands. I also have a bottle. I'll throw the bottle if I have to. There we go. Got it. Yes, I did it. Goodbye, Kamala. Oh, uh, wow. I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry. I'm happy you feel better. I, I do feel better. Let me give you something in return, like a key? Yeah, I don't want a branch. I wanted a key. There. A piece of me. You can plant it if you like. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. You live in Mabuka's world. Something tells me that Kamala will be back and you will be finished off. That is your destiny in Mabuka's den. Sorry, dude. That's just the fifth reality. That's just how it rolls around here. Uh, we got a branch now. I don't even know what we need a branch for. Uh, present I got from the tree I helped, but what do we need it for? Let's combine it with water. Sometimes things just, uh, <laughs> they don't work. Okay, well, we've got soap and a scrub-a-dub brush and water and a cable, but well, we need the cable. Arroo. Well, I'm not really sure what we're doing now. Reinforced teeth. I also got eyes. Or, I have an eye. Can I? What a big eye. What are you looking at? Can I do something to the eye? Like, here. Get out of here, eye. Ah, it won't work. Okay, how about, uh, poking the eye? Here you go. Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? I was thinking I really didn't try anything. Oh, you know what? One of our dresses has a button. I'm gonna go cut that button off. I knew those dresses had to be for something. Not that one. This one. I need this one. Give me your button, please. Because we love using our knife. Give me the button. Got it. A big pink button for my summer dress. All right, good. Because we were almost full up on inventory. So we need to start using a lot of stuff. I may need to combine all those things to make that alarm clock, too. Uh, Nope, nope, nope. Go up here. And we're going to go over here. God forbid somebody says we need an eye to progress because Fran will literally go over there and cut that dude's eye out to progress to get her kitty. There is no stopping Fran. When she wants something, she goes and gets it. And there goes my button. Now what? I don't know. Now what? Insert button, which we did. The machine doesn't need any more buttons. I already inserted one. Now play something. Haha, -ha, hello, happy monkey. 103... Oh, wind it up. Oh, I think I disconnected the machine. It has no power now. I said that this was an issue. Use here. Now, let's, let's do this. Hello, happy monkey. Okay. Oh, it's about to suck for the skeleton. Poof. That's not the key. At least I hope this can help me somehow. Oh, yeah, it can. But hey, it's the fifth reality, right? Things that we find weird are pleasurable for things in this uh, world. So when we pull out this guy's teeth to get the key, he'll probably like it. He'll probably thank us. He'll be like, man, my teeth have been stuck for ye uh, centuries. I'm so glad you finally came and somebody helped me pull that out. I had no hands to fix it. So you're welcome for what is about to come next. I told you I was going to come and take it. Told you I was going to come and take it. 
Okay, he doesn't look like that's that's pleasurable to him. My fault. Fran literally does not give an F. She will do whatever she has to do to get in it. I hope there wasn't an alternative way to remove the key. That's sick. That is sick. I, right, Roberto. I hope we're still friends after seeing that. Yikes. Shiny little key, come here. I wonder what door you'll unlock. Is there like another way to do it? I am so sorry. How could you? I, how could you? I hope somebody takes off your teeth as well. Well, the Tooth Fairy already took all of my baby teeth. Insane, isn't it? I feel really bad, dude. Was there another way to do this? Could I have, like, put teeth soap in his mouth or... I feel really, really bad about that. <laughs> like, that... That's sick. Get out! I don't want to speak with a tooth criminal. Yikes. Dude, okay, remember earlier in the game where, <laughs> where, uh, yeah, we had multiple options of getting the guy to leave his desk, and we chose a different route. I feel like there's probably an easier route to get that key out than pulling his teeth out, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart and try that again, just because I feel really bad about pulling that dude's teeth out, so... Give me one second, bear with me as we make this transition, alright? <laughs>